Hello, this is the weekly Wednesday challenge, so I hope you've had a good day today. It's Wednesday, uh, it's the 21st of March and I'm recording this, it's 5 minutes to 12, so I've had a really nice morning, it's just been quite chilled out, I dropped Toby to school, um, and then on the way back I popped to um, Rollsby Broad, which is really near us on the way back from um, the school run, and it's so pretty, so I took a picture and I put it on Instagram, so you might, sorry, I'm sneezing today, I think it's because it's spring, I've got, I think hay fever might have started, so I've got a little tissue off put that down there because it's disgusting seeing it in my hand um so yeah i've been sneezing so i have i might start my old hay fever tablets uh right so what was saying yes yeah, so this morning i went to rollsby broad and took a picture and put it on instagram and if you want to go and have a look you might have already seen it it's so pretty it's like one of my favorite little spots i'm at kate mccabey at it's obviously at k-a-t-e-m-c-c-a-b-e-y um, and i put a picture of the mug of the day on which you might be able to see just there so this is the weekly wednesday challenge i'll tell you what it is in a second it's easter themed and it was just what i needed actually because i had lots of easter things in the house and i needed to put them together to create something so that is what i have done so i'll tell you that in a second but obviously it's time for mug of the day yay so here it is this is this is, was requested actually for today um so this is one of my favorites i did put a picture on instagram as well it's just so cute um a little bee mug it was three pounds fifty from Dunelm and I just love it today I've got a coffee and this is um, a very popular mug of the day I'll just put that down on the YouTube table and you can see it today yay you see some things anyway right so I've got to say thank you very much to Mads Rules M-A-D-S Rules hello Mads Rules this is your challenge and you only put it on yesterday um and I was going to like you wrote a comment last night and I was going to do a different one but I'm going to save that for next week so thank you for this challenge um this challenge was find as many easter items as you can for five pounds and then you have to make a hamper out of what you found and I thought that is perfect because I literally had stuff lying around Lee came home um he got back from America on Monday evening he was like what's what's all this I was like I'll tidy it up it's for Toby so you did me a favor Mads rules I've sorted out my Easter stuff Lee should be happy now and I've made little hampers right so the first one I'm going to show you um is five pounds I think it's slightly under five pounds um and it's great so the basket I'll show it to you now so this is my challenge and I like to I think I've um I did the challenge I think I, I did well this is my Easter hamper for five pounds this basket is my own um, so obviously it, it's not included in the price this was just one from a car boot sale and I just painted it with a bit for ages ago about I want I want to say like seven or eight years ago um I found loads of amazing paint in Poundland like chalk paint you could paint furniture so me and my mum bought the lot and we used it all it was fantastic that was a new mold in that one I'll never forget that that was one of the best things I've ever bought in Poundland but that was a long time ago haven't seen it in there since but it was brilliant big pots of paint and it had um, all these lovely colors so anyway that's not what I'm talking about today but I just thought I'd share that with you because I know that um, we all love Poundland. So free basket, I think that was literally 50p from a car boot sale. And then inside my basket, I've got all of these goodies. Um, a lot of things from Poundland, home bargains, and I think any from, oh yeah, Pound Stretcher as well. So I've got a little Easter activity book at the back. That was a quid from Poundland. Bunny crayons there for a pound. Um, one of these, you get five things in a bag at Pound Stretcher. That's just a little, oh, bunny thing bunny bunting at Poundland so what I've done is I've taken out the bunny bunting and I've just plonked it in here to make the little hamper um so and you get a little I'll get him out as well a little bunny with a little pom-pom tail thing so I just took those out you can always make the um the bunny bunting they give you string as well or a little bit of ribbon I've put some little uh, ones of these that you get in um Poundland you get a set of like 12 or 8 for a quid these are brilliant they are from home bargains and you get a big pack I'll just quickly show you um because they're fantastic and you get a big box of them I think they're like 79p really cheap and they're all individually wrapped so I just plonked one of those in there I've got lots of these which are brilliant aren't they so I've got a big um load of these for two quid my dad bought them actually and I've just put some little eggs in there from Poundland and I'll tell you what um, Poundland, the little chicky ones, they're just two or three. They do like um, their own version of Cadbury's mini eggs. And I we had some the other day and I thought, well, I'll put them in here. Me and Toby ate them all. They're really good. So um, I think I said before, I don't like cheap chocolate. I love chocolate, but I don't like it when it tastes too cheap. 
but those ones are really good. We scoff a lot. Okay, so this was from Poundland as well. It's a little fluffy sheep. He is a sheep or a lamb. I'm sure I did this last time I said the wrong thing. But anyway, he's really cute. I've not seen him at any other Poundland. He's just like a little sort of porcelain -y fluffy little thing he's cute um and egg cup as i said they're 50p each two for a pound the egg cups at poundland some little chicks 89p for the easter egg from home bargains and i think that is it so this whole basket not including the actual basket cost me slightly under five pounds i've been trying to work it out because these things i don't know like 8p or 7p each or 5p i don't know um so that is um was my challenge to make a hamper for five pounds and i think i did it and that's going to be toby so he's seen a few of these things but what i'm going to do is hide it from him and and then give it to him easter on easter sunday we're actually gonna be at my dad's easter sunday we're gonna go away now for the weekend because lee's away um and i've got some gigs so me dad and toby are gonna yeah no me and toby are gonna go down and see my dad so i'll just take this with us so he can have that and i'll have to do an easter egg hunt when we get back with him and his friend oliver so that was my challenge and mad's rules i hope that was okay and you enjoyed that and thank you for helping me sort out my easter stuff it gave me a little bit of a motivation last night to do it right i've got a few other things to show you so i made that um which i'm going to give to toby and then i also Toby's going to do very, everyone's going to do very well off me with these Poundland things. Um, I made this one as well. So this costs slightly more. This is about £6.50 because I've included um, the box. You could obviously paint this. I'm just leaving it as it is because I just grabbed it. I bought it yesterday um, when I went shopping in Poundland. And if you want to watch that video, me and my amazing friend Vanessa, who is an artist and she makes stuff. She is, not only is she really talented and creative, she's such a lovely person. She's got the best, like energy and she's so uplifted i just i love her you know when you meet people we met about a year ago and i sat next to her on this little couch and i looked at her and we just did a little dance I was like i love you um so she is great so if you want to watch yesterday's video have a look it's um come shopping with me in poundland and then i meet vanessa uh she's great so go and subscribe to her as well because she's lovely so this yeah anyway back to this so i haven't painted it i've just literally stuck all this stuff in i found that in poundland for two pounds a little while ago when they had them in these are obviously a quid for the glasses i've just chucked in loads of different things so i've got a little um a little trophy there as well for all of this from poundland the little bunny bunting and um, the little eggs i've got these are from pound stretcher they're five for i think they're five for a pound and a little bunny money a bunny money box bunny money bunny money box and yeah just different bits and bobs in there and this one works out at about six pounds fifty so we've got two three pound four pound five and then all the other bits are about six six pounds fifty i don't know if you saw my easter poundland haul where i put a little bunny in a bucket and there was quite a few nice comments uh, saying oh that's a great little idea nice little gift and that was obviously only two pounds so because everybody liked that idea for two pounds i thought i'd just add a few things and it's still really cheap um so what i've done is put some tissue in the bottom of here that i got wrapped in i think it was from matalan they wrapped up some glasses and then um i've got a little 50p easter egg um no egg cup what well, easter egg cup um and that was 50p it's just like a set of two i just showed you the chick one a little golden egg with some mini eggs in some little chicks and bunnies these are the ones from pound stretcher five for a pound a pound bunny these are brilliant I keep I have bought a few more of these so we can just give them to to you know your friends kids and it's just a nice little gift for a quid they're so sweet I love that little bunny and his little ears and um, these are also I think there's like eight for a pound so I put one of those in and more of the bunny bunting and this one the bucket and everything you see there works out at about three pounds or just slightly under it's like two pounds eighty I think which is so good and then if you wanted to get like you know the cellophane is that what it's called the plastic stuff and make it beautiful you could but I've never done that so I'm just leaving it as it is but I think that's so sweet um gorgeous if somebody gave that to Toby I'd be over the moon You've, and also you put a lot of thought into it so you don't have to spend a lot of money you just need to buy the bags from Poundland buy the different things buy these things you can put eggs in the eggs you can put eggs in you know what i mean and just yeah um spread them out and it makes it make oh i just dropped a bunny <laughs> makes them really cheap so that one is just under three pounds and then i've got two more things to show you i just did this because i had the things lying around and i thought well I, I may as well and i've got three more things to show you this is um a little alternative if you thought well i don't want to give um 
if someone doesn't like chocolate or you want to give something a bit different this uh, cost about what is this one for the jar one pound fifty so this is a little jar that I got from Home Bargains the other day and I have seen them like in is it Lath yeah in Latham's they've got little jars of sweets and they look really cute and they're a fiver and Toby keeps saying oh I want one of those like no 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 it's five pounds um so I'm gonna make him I can give him this I suppose he's done really well but then um you know it's Easter and I can spoil him he's a good boy so this is one pound fifty and in it you can put whatever you like obviously I've just shoved in again one of these marshmallow things because they're cheap and they're quite big and bulky a couple of um like plastic eggs that you I put mini eggs in and these if you can see them mini um bunnies from home bargains and they I think they're 59p for the whole packet so I've put half in there so that is the little um little spring jar and that's one pound fifty but you, again you could just give that as a little gift i think that's gorgeous and that then, jar cost um, me 99p got... from home bargains but with everything in it it was one pound fifty i would love to get this next gift and again it's really really cheap and really sweet so it's the little bunny these little bunnies are brilliant honestly just get some and put them away because they're just so cute they're really nice quality and really soft as well so I've got this little mug um which can be I might I might keep this actually for me a mug of the day uh, well I'm really sorry I've already got my mug of the day but this could be one for the future um it's a little sheep mug and it's just so sweet novelty sheep mug um with a little bunny from Poundland in and some bunny bunting so I've just literally shoved the carrot at the back so I thought it looked quite cute I might look better without I don't know. So that that costs you. That's two ninety nine, um, for that little for that little present, which is really sweet. I'll put the carrot back because I don't quite like it. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this little bag for one pound. It's about one pound fifty. Um, a set of two of these bags from Poundland. Um, so obviously fifty p each. And inside, I've just chucked um, a Maltese egg. This is the best chocolate. I ate one of Toby's, and it was so good. It was worth it actually. Um, eighty nine p from Home Bargains. Um. And inside I've got another one of these little eggs with a few little chip eggs in from Poundland. I put one of these into the little bag as well. I might give this to um, Toby's friend Oliver for, and I'll put, he's got a, a Kinder surprise egg as well. Another one of those and what else have I got? Oh yeah, just a couple of things like, you've already seen them but I'll show you again. Another one of these eggs with things inside. Oh, that obviously fell out. And an Easter lolly as well. So if you just chuck that all in, that is a really nice little um, gift bag. And that costs, yep, yeah, that is £2. What have I written here? £2.50, that whole bag of goodies. Thanks to Mads Rules for this challenge. I really enjoyed it and I've managed to sort out all my Easter things as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It might have given you some ideas or you might have better ideas. I don't know. I just thought I'd put some things together and, and see what looked nice. So cheers for watching this one. My next video will be on Friday. I'm going to do a Poundland haul for Friday. It might be a makeup one. Let me know. Do you want a Poundland makeup haul or a Poundland general haul? Let me know what, what would be the best one. I'm going to do them both eventually, but let me know what one you want for Friday. So I'll speak to you then. See you later. Bye.